divertimento Italia Udine 2 Juliet Milano Zelanda Varese Costa. Hi and welcome back to another Tech Minds video. Now most of us know about the awesome multi-platform SDR software called SDR++, but did you know that it has an inbuilt server? Now this inbuilt server allows connection over your network to another running instance of SDR++. Not only can you connect to it from SDR++, but you can also select which SDR device to use. This means that if you have more than one SDR device connected to a remote install of SDR++, then from the client, you can choose which device you like. So how do we install and use SDR++ server? Now, as you know, SDR++ is multi-platform, so it works on Mac OS, Windows, Linux, and Raspberry Pi, and also Android. The good thing is, is that if you have SDR++ installed, then you already have the server installed as it's part of the main application. However, to activate and run the server, you need to start SDR++ from the command line. Now let's first take a look at how we start SDR++ server on Mac OS. So with SDR++ already installed, you need to navigate to the applications folder from within a terminal window. Once in the applications folder, type this, open space dot forward slash SDR plus plus dot app space dash dash ARGS space dash dash server. Then press enter. Now there'll be no real confirmation that it's running, but if it doesn't run, then you would see an error message. So now we need to run SDR plus plus on another machine in a standard way. Incidentally, my Mac has an SDR Play RSPDX connected to it. So over on my Windows 11 machine with SDR++ running, I now need to select the source. And for this, I will choose SDR++ server. I will also need to change the IP address, which matches the computer where the server software is running. As long as you did not specify a port on the server, then the default port will be 5259. Once you press connect, the status will change to connected. Now you can choose the remote source. This will be the STR device, which is connected or physically plugged in to the server computer. In my case, I'm using an SDR Play RSP DX. And as you can see here, it's automatically detected it. I can now press the play button at the top of the screen to start controlling and streaming the remote SDR++ server to this local machine. And it's always a pleasure, mate. Pop in any time. And if we're on a bit earlier tomorrow and you're around, I'll text you, of course. Over to you, Chris, uh, from 2 VBA. Oh, that's your X-ray at um, today. It was around 2 to 3 degrees centigrade. And um, the sun was out this afternoon. It was a whole day dry. Yesterday was a lot of rain. So back to you, Mike. So what about if you want to run the server on a Windows computer? Well, that's just as easy. Simply open a command prompt window on your Windows computer and then navigate to the SDR++ installation folder. From here, you can type SDRPP space dash dash server and then press enter. Now on Windows, you will notice that the command line shows the status of the server as it loads the available modules for each supported SDR device. You could then connect to the server using any other machine connected on the same network. You could even use an Android phone or tablet if you have STRPP installed on it. But as not to tie up an entire machine, STRPP server also works on the Raspberry Pi. You can either install STRPP manually on your Raspberry Pi, or you can use Dragon OS for the Pi, which already has STR++ installed. So from the terminal window, just type in STRPP space dash dash server, and then press enter. Now, like the Windows version, you will start to see the supported modules being loaded. Once finished loading, you can now connect from any machine on your network. Now, STRPP server would also work across the internet, but for this, you would need to open the selected port on your router and then forward it to your STRPP server machine. And when I was doing some testing with STR++ server on the Pi, I found that I had a much more reliable connection when using an ethernet connection. It will work over Wi-Fi, but just make sure that you've got a good, strong connection. Uh, fairly calm conditions and cloudy. 
Uh, not too bad for this time of the year, Hans. So working conditions here, running 400 watts and a six element Yagi. Uh, please check QRZ4 information on the special event call sign, Hans. And uh, please call in again if you hear us on the bands. Have a good weekend. Pub breaker one, Charlie Oscar Sierra. A uh, golf mic five, Whiskey Sierra. Well, there we go, guys. That's a brief overview of SDR++ Server. Now, if you haven't tried SDR++ before, then I'd recommend to go and try it out. It's a great tool to have in the arsenal of software packages for your SDR receivers. Until the next video, take care, stay safe. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.